Hello everyone, this is Miss Dubian, your guidance teacher. If this is your first time to watch my channel, I make mental health and self-help educational videos. So stay tuned. In this video, we will talk about the importance of sleep to our mental health and well-being. So let's begin. People around the world are now sleeping even lesser each night with 7 hours of sleep per night versus 7 point hours in 2019, 6.8 hours on weekdays similar to 2019, and 7.5 hours on the weekend versus 7.9 hours in 2019. Findings by Royal Phillips, a global leader in health and technology in its fifth annual sleep survey entitled Wake Up Call, Global Sleep Satisfaction Trends. Phillips surveyed more than 13,000 adults in 13 countries to capture attitudes, perceptions, and behaviors around sleep. The results show global sleep satisfaction remains slow with worry, stress, relationships, and cell phone use reported as key sleep inhibitors. In the Philippines, a survey conducted by Healthy Living Index in 2016 showed that Filipino adults only get an average of 6.8 hours of sleep instead of an ideal 8.2 hours of sleep every night. Even though most people understand the value of sleep, there is an alarming decrease in inaction to improve sleep. Sleep deficit impacts people both physically and mentally, so we need to learn more about improving our sleep. The relationship between sleep and mental health both positive and negative is complex. But in general, evidence consistently shows that a quality amount of sleep is associated with better well-being. And inadequate sleep plays a causal role in both the development and maintenance of different mental health problems. First, inadequate sleep is more likely to affect individuals with psychiatric disorders than people in the general population. Second, sleep problems may increase the risk of developing a particular mental illness as well as result from such disorders. Third, having quality sleep may help elevate symptoms of a mental health problem. In other words, sleep problems can lead to changes in mental health and mental health condition can also worsen problems with sleep. So let's talk about the negative effects of sleep deprivation. Sleep deprivation happens when a person is not able to get enough sleep consistently or a reduced quality of sleep. The right amount of sleep can vary from person to person, but the recommended that adults should get is at least 7 hours each night. The table I will show to you is the recommendations that the American Academy of Pediatrics has endorsed. Infants aged 4 to 12 months recommended amount of sleep is 12 to 16 hours a day, including naps. Children aged 1 to 2 years, 11 to 14 hours a day, including naps. Children aged 3 to 5 years, 10 to 13 hours a day. Children aged 6 to 12 years, 9 to 12 hours a day. Teens aged 13 to 18 years, 8 to 10 hours a day. And adults aged 18 years or older, 7 to 8 hours a day. If you consistently lose sleep or choose to sleep less than needed, the sleep loss adds up. The total sleep loss is called your sleep debt. For example, if you lose one hour of sleep each night, you'll have a sleep debt of seven hours after a week. Some of us take a nap to compensate for the lost sleep. Naps can provide a short-term boost in alertness and performance, but napping cannot make up for lost sleep and it doesn't provide all the other benefits of nighttime sleep. In the same way, sleeping long hours at weekends cannot make up for the lost sleep during weekdays. A person who is getting too little quality sleep may experience a range of symptoms such as fatigue, irritability, mood changes, difficulty focusing, and remembering. Sleep deprivation weakens the prefrontal cortex, which is the reasoning ability, to control the amygdala, the emotions, making it difficult to process and cope with emotions. Moreover, it can have a profound effect on both the emotional and cognitive functioning of the brain, thus resulted in bad moods, negative thinking, decreased empathy, and poor impulse control. And these are the other negative effects of sleep deprivation. 
we will begin with it weakens our immune system by causing us to be prone to infections and respiratory diseases which may take longer to find the solution while we sleep our immune system produces protective infection fighting substances like antibodies it uses these substances to combat foreign invaders such as bacteria and viruses not enough sleep prevents our immune system from building up its forces as a result our body may not be able to resist the intruders and it may also take us longer to recover from illness the second is sleep deprivation is also a determinant of overweight and obesity sleep affects the levels of two hormones leptin and ghrelin which control feelings of hunger and fullness leptin tells our brain that we have had enough to eat if we lack sleep our brain reduces leptin and raises ghrelin an appetite stimulant. The fluctuation of these hormones could explain the tendency to have a midnight snack or why someone may overeat later at night. Besides, changes in sleep can cause increased fat storage and changes in body weight. When we do not have enough sleep, you will notice that you feel tired to do physical activities. As a result, you may gain weight for not burning enough calories and not building muscle mass. Another effect of lack of sleep is our body releases less insulin after eating. Insulin helps to reduce our blood sugar level. It also lowers the body's tolerance for glucose and is linked with insulin resistance that leads to diabetes and obesity. Have you experienced feeling lethargic the next morning after a sleepless night? A study found that your brain cells feel tired too. You may be more likely to be forgetful and get distracted more easily. The researcher has discovered that starving the body of sleep also robs neurons of the ability to function properly. This paves the way for cognitive lapses in how we perceive and react the world around us, according to Dr. Edzhak Fry, a professor of neurosurgery at the University of California. The researchers found that sleep deprivation makes it hard for the brain cells to communicate effectively which in turn can lead to temporary mental lapses that affect memory and visual perception. Sleep is necessary to consolidate a memory so that it can be recalled in the future. For something to become a memory, three functions must occur. Acquisition, learning or new experiencing something new. Consolidation, the memory becomes stable in the brain. We call having the ability to access memory in the future. Both recall and acquisition happen when we are awake. However, researchers believe sleep is required for the consolidation of the memory. So without enough sleep, our brain has a difficult time remembering and absorbing new information. Studies have even found that people who have poor sleep are at risk of forming false memories. Also, lack of sleep tends to have poor judgment. People who don't get enough sleep are more likely to make risky choices and to focus on a potential reward rather than downsides. As a result of lack of sleep, it disrupts the normal processing and consolidating of emotional memory, which in turn limits our ability to learn from our mistakes. One study showed that sleep deprived participants were more likely to think they were right when they were in fact wrong. Yuval Mir, a sleep researcher at Tel Aviv University, stated when sleep deprivation dampened brain cell activity, the neurons responded slowly, fired weaker, and their transmissions dragged on longer instead of the usual rapid reaction. Inadequate sleep diminishes the ability to carry out instructions, the proper function of the motor skills, and its proper rhythm. Some studies have found lack of sleep hinders cognitive flexibility, decreasing the ability to adapt and thrive in uncertain or changing circumstances. Also, not enough sleep can hinder the ability of neurons in the brain to encode information and translate visual input into conscious thought. For example, when a sleep-deprived driver sees a pedestrian stepping in front of his car, it may take longer for him to realize what he or she is seeing because the very act of seeing the pedestrian slows down in the driver's overtired brain. Another way that inadequate sleep impairs thinking is by altering how emotional information is understood. When learning new information, recognizing the emotional context is included aside from analyzing or planning. But having poor sleep, which normally affects mood, blocks the ability to properly process the emotional component of information. Lastly, creativity is another aspect of recognition that is harmed by sleep deprivation. Related loosely associated ideas is a trademark of creativity strengthened by quality sleep 
During sleep, the information is restructured and reorganized while new ideas and links between thoughts emerge. This processes empower insight, a focal element of innovation and creative problem solving. We understand now how poor sleep can hamper us from effective thinking. Moreover, insufficient quality sleep can make us commit more errors, fail to take in new information, suffer memory deficits, or impair decision-making. Consequently, inadequate sleep can harm intellectual performance, creative pursuits, academic achievement, and productivity at work. It can also create health hazards including life-threatening dangers from drowsy driving or operating heavy machinery without enough sleep. But wait, there's more! I will just briefly mention other benefits of having a good night's sleep. A night of adequate sleep reduces stress. Having enough sleep will prevent your body to go into a state of stress that puts your body functions on high alert, resulting in high blood pressure and the production of stress hormones. Sleep plays a major role in athletic performance and competitive results. The quality and amount of sleep athletes get is often the key to winning. Sleep provides energy to both the brain and the body. If sleep is cut short, the body doesn't have the time to repair memory, consolidate memory, and release hormones. Also, sleep helps rebuild muscle and replenish nutrients that helps maintain endurance, speed, and accuracy. Study shows that having quality sleep can help prevent and fight cancer. Melatonin produced by the brain during sleep may have antioxidant properties that help prevent damaged cells that can lead to cancer. Researchers believe that women who work the late shift have a higher risk of developing breast and colon cancer because they produce less melatonin. And lastly, during sleep, the brain sweeps itself to flash of toxins. When we sleep, the flow of cerebral spinal fluid in the brain increases dramatically, washing away harmful waste proteins that build up between brain cells during waking hours. According to some recent studies, this process may reduce the risk of Alzheimer's disease. Therefore, we must take seriously to prioritize having quality sleep to optimize its benefits. That's all for now. In my next video, we will talk about how we can improve our sleep. I hope you learn valuable information having a quality sleep. I will appreciate it if you like this video, share and comment below, subscribe for more educational mental health videos. Till then and have a blessed weekend!